In recent years, Germany's policy toward China has mainly been set by the current German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Though she was concerned about human rights issues and the rule of law during her visit to China in May 2018, when she met with Li Wanzhu and Xu Yan, wives of Chinese human rights lawyers Wang Chuanzhang and Yu Wansheng, she was more concerned with other interests, especially the German-Chinese economic and trade relationships. Therefore, Angela Merkel has adopted a more accepting and forgiving attitude toward the CCP authorities. In March 2019, the European Commission described the CCP as a systematic rival. However, Germany and China maintained a good relationship, which they call a comprehensive strategic partnership. German and Chinese government representatives have held five intergovernmental consultations. Last year, Germany and China also conducted their first joint military exercises. In September of the same year, 2019, Merkel made her 12th visit to China during her term. Though the public has reached out to Merkel for help on human rights issues, such as those in Xinjiang and Hong Kong, the number of German-Chinese talks on human rights violations the CCP committed has been decreasing, and Beijing has even cancelled talks on human rights between Germany and China. In November 2019, Merkel called on the EU to unify its policies toward China, warning against adopting isolation policies. In late January 2020, Merkel again called for the CCP not to be marginalized, but to be integrated into the world's multinational structure. On May 27, Merkel emphasized in her speech that German-Chinese relations must be treated as a diplomatic priority. She said it would have significant strategic interests for the EU to maintain its partnership with the CCP. On an online event that took place the same day, Merkel stated again that German-Chinese diplomatic relations would be a priority as Germany holds the presidency of the European Union Council. On June 3, Merkel and Xi Jinping held their third meeting since the CCP virus outbreak. Merkel said she would continue to deepen German-Chinese economic cooperations. On June 11, Angela Merkel and Chinese Premier Li Keqiang had a video conversation. Li Keqiang said the cooperation between the two countries has not and will not stop as a result of the pandemic. Merkel, too, highlighted her desire to establish a stable bilateral relationship with the CCP. The video conference was preceded by a number of signing ceremonies for joint projects between Germany and China. UK and US politicians have condemned the CCP's push for Hong Kong's national security law, but the German government has not criticized the Chinese Communist Party's repressive policies and remained silent. As a result, criticism against Merkel's policy toward China is mounting. Johannes Boyer, editor of the German newspaper Die Welt, published an article saying that Germany's chancellor is one of the most powerful individuals on the planet, and for that reason, Germany should be a fortress in the protection of freedom. Some netizens also reminded Merkel not to forget her East German background. In late June, during a joint interview with six European newspapers, Merkel again called for the EU to adopt a consistent stance toward China. She also mentioned her concern for the future of Hong Kong. In early July, Merkel said in a speech to the German Senate that Germany was concerned that Hong Kong's autonomy might be eroded and that Germany would raise human rights and other issues with the CCP during her EU presidency beginning this month. In addition, China's Huawei, which has been under fire from a number of countries for spying and stealing for the Chinese Communist Party, was defined by the U.S. government as a national security risk and demanded that its allies ban Huawei. There are also many voices among German politicians who also opposed to TikTok, while Merkel has been indecisive on that matter. In November 2019, she said that she would not rule out a particular supplier. In February 2020, documents obtained by the German news agency DPA indicated that the conservative camp led by Merkel was not against allowing Huawei to participate in Germany's 5G construction. The world is concerned about Merkel's stance and whether she will continue to follow a pro-communist path as taken by her two previous German chancellors. A Hong Kong pro-democracy activist, Glacier Kuang, wrote an open letter to Angela Merkel in the German newspaper Die Welt on June 1st. She said that Germany intended to remain neutral in the new Cold War, but history has told people that this was not possible. China will not automatically become a free country, and worse off, the levels of human rights around the world are in decline. An Epoch Times special report has pointed out that, though the current epidemic may appear to be unpredictable, it has actually come to eliminate the Communist Party and its elements. According to Qin Peng, a political and economic analyst in the U.S., traditional Chinese culture has told us that the virus has eyes and that the epidemic had targeted time, targeted location, and targeted number for the outbreak. Not only do German hospitals have close ties with the Chinese Communist Party, 
but the two countries also have close economic and diplomatic ties. Germany had always been very ambiguous about the CCP's human rights abuses and its religious persecution and had been alienating the U.S. and had been friendly with Russia and the CCP. In the past, Merkel refused to condemn the CCP on human rights issues, Xinjiang issues, and Hong Kong issues. And now when she has to speak out, she still refuses to stand with the U.S. on sanctioning the CCP. At root, this is closely related to Germany and the CCP's interest in a profitable relationship. Germany is remaining silent about the CCP's persecution of human rights and the CCP's extent of evil because it is interested in its benefits. Qin Peng said that during a time when the U.S. and Australia are accusing the CCP of covering up the epidemic, German politicians chose to keep a low profile and are only concerned about doing business. For the sake of their own interests, they have remained silent on China's human rights issues and have even helped defend the CCP. He believes that God is warning people through this plague that they have to recognize the evil nature of the CCP and stay away from its evils in order to stay safe.